My name is Tara Radke and I'm the System Manager for Orion Integrated Landing Systems. So even though Orion has performed the majority of its mission of taking humans to space and then returning back home, we still have to do the last really important part, slowing down so that they can safely land and be recovered onto the ship and back home. Orion's coming back from deep space and re-enters the atmosphere, going really fast. The guidance navigation control system does some maneuvering to help slow down the vehicle. And at that point, start looking for the right conditions to deploy the parachutes. The first parachutes that come out are the four big cover parachutes. They're mortar deployed, so they're fired basically with cannons out the back of the vehicle at 125 feet per second. After those are inflated, pyrotechnic piston thrusters push the cover off and jettison it away, and that exposes all the other parachutes that are on the top of the vehicle that can, so they can perform their job. The next parachutes in the sequence are the drogue parachutes. The drogue parachutes, again, are also mortar fired out into the clean air so that they can properly deploy. And they actually open in stages, so they slowly open up so that they don't have a hard force on the vehicle or on the parachutes themselves and damage them. At that point, we actually cut the drogue parachutes so that those parachutes are able to leave. And the next parachutes, the pilot parachutes, are able to deploy at that point. The pilot parachutes are small chutes. They're actually 11 feet in diameter and are actually used to pull the main parachutes out of the bay. The main parachutes are the large ones. Those are 300 pounds and when they are fully inflated, 116 feet in diameter. The main parachutes do the majority of the job of slowing down the vehicle. All three main parachutes deploy. And they also open in stages to protect the structure and the parachutes and the crew on board and at that point, slow the vehicle down to about 25 feet per second when it lands in the water. Working in the descent and landing phase is really challenging. You're coming from extreme environments that you've had to go along on the ride the entire way. As we work with the parachutes, as we work with the GNC team and how all these pieces fit together, it feels like a very important job to make sure that we're taking care of the crew, that we're bringing them back safely, and that we land and keep the vehicle safe around them and are able to recover them safely. 